Blessings, blessings to you guys. Blessings. So my wife had a dream, and I want her to share this dream. Hit it, baby. Yeah, so in a dream, it's like I was on vacation, and uh, we was at a water park. And I began to see Oprah Winfrey. And for some reason, I was carrying the, some Bibles like this. It was two stacks of Bibles. Two stacks of Bibles. And I was, and I walked past her holding it just like that. And that's it. But, um, she had a bathing suit on obviously cause we was at the water park, but you know, we just passed like that and that was the end of the dream. <laughs> yes. The word of God is very strong. The word of God is coming constantly towards, uh, opera for her repentance. Um, the reason why my wife was passing by is to just to see if uh, she will even have desire of the word of God, even just to see if she have the passion or even to try to, you know, hey, I want to hear this. I'm ready to hear this. I'm ready to surrender or whatsoever. But she don't care about the word of God. This shows that she don't care about the word of God. She don't care mm -hmm. about God. And it's very obvious that a lot of these people don't care. You know, they can see their audience or, you know, or most of their leaders, you know, was whatever they say, sometimes they wanna just say the same thing. Hey, let's, let us keep on uh, uh, making this, our followers, look dumb, mm -hmm. you know, let's, okay, if they, if they want us to say Jesus Christ, well, okay, we're going to say it, it mm -hmm. don't matter, or if they want us to say God, or oh, just trust God, or whatever, we can say it, you know, it don't matter, they, they're still going to be here, you know, so that's exactly what a lot of them do, you know, they just want to, oh, okay, keep, you know, they keep on deceiving their followers, but this dream is just simply showing that she is not ready to accept or even to receive anything concerning God. Wow. I don't think we're shocked about that. Yeah. But but um, back in the days, I like what you said. She do come off like she loved God or she loved a God. A lot of them do. <laughs> yeah, they yes. always say that. But, um, you know, the Bible says many people, hearts will wax cold. Yeah. And when I see and be reminded of that scripture, it just shows me that, you know, Oprah Winfrey just don't have a heart. And that's my opinion. Yeah. You know, I don't believe she have a heart. I believe that she puts it out there that she has a heart. Yeah. That she care. Because <laughs> um, as of right now, the things that we are going through in our country and what other countries are going through, I have not yet heard one little peep out of Oprah Winfrey. And uh, when I don't hear a peep out of certain celebrities, you know, we should all say something is wrong with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have no heart, mm -hmm. you know, and I believe that she's a very selfish person. And that's what I'm hearing right now. She's a very selfish person. And I hear the Lord say that her heart will be exposed. Mm. Her heart will be exposed meaning that she don't have a heart mm. and a lot of people are going to rise up and say something and they're going to speak about it because uh it's a time of exposure for oprah winfrey mm. that that's that's the whole thing about it it's a time of exposure for oprah winfrey and i hope people are going to be i hope people will be ready because a lot of people's heart will be hot and my wife said earlier uh, 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 people's heart was was cold. Mm -hmm. A lot of people that believe in these people and all that, they, uh, oh, she have a heart, she be giving. You all don't know what sacrificing or believing in God or believing in Satan is all about. Mm -hmm. It's all about sacrifice. So if you believe in God, you got to do some sacrifices. If you believe in Satan, you got to do some sacrifices. The sacrifice that you're doing about God is... Uh, 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 sacrificing your time, praying without ceasing, fasting and dedicating yourself, trying mm -hmm. so much to live a holy life. But the worldly sacrifice, there must be a blood. And when blood comes in, you see them out there 
giving out millions, giving out, the, most of them will go to Africa, or they, they, you know, they're doing charity and all that. Mm -hmm. It's a part of sacrifice. One of, I remember one guy was telling me, because the guy is in our court, so he was telling me that uh, Christians don't know how to do sacrifice. They don't know how to give. That sometimes their, their, their leader will urge them to go and do sacrifices, give to the poor, help the beggars, you know, feed the, the, the prisoners, and they do all that. So that, will, that makes me to be like, wow. And you see a lot of these celebrities, these people that sell their souls, and you believe, oh, they have a heart, oh, they care. No, they must fulfill the sacrifice. They must keep up uh, with the uh, requirements and mm -hmm. activities that they need to put out there so that the masses will see. Because it's all about the masses to see. Remember when Jesus Christ was speaking to the, those priests, they say, oh, you all come in the house of God and you all give money so that others will see. You all carry it in, in a big bag so that the world, the people will see. That's exactly what they, this, you know, their own sacrifice, people must see it and they must uh, perform those things in, in the media. And oh, wow, people, wow, they have a heart. No, mm -hmm. they don't. And you know what? Every, good, every gift is not a good gift. Yeah. <laughs> You know, a lot of people don't know that. Like, you can you can give to so many people. These um, pe these people who are in a cult, they're giving back, right? Yeah. But you know, they putting a curse on it, right? And they're taking people's and they, destiny. They taking people's destiny. <laughs> so that's you know. why you need to be careful who you receive some mm -hmm. gift from or who you receive some things from. It's very dangerous as well. You know, that's why we need to stay in in, in the Word of God. You know soak ourselves in the fire of God and the blood of Jesus Christ. Absolutely. So that whenever these things come on our way, we defeat that spirit. But I'm so excited for the wealth transfer because God is going to give wealth to saved Christian people and he's in and, and uh, they are going to show people how to give. Amen. They're going to show these uh, evil, demonic, rich people how to really give back yeah. because it don't supposed to be like this in this world. Yeah. It's a lot of greedy people and uh, heartless people out there that have so much wealth, but they see the homeless in the street. They see people being be or They see beggars. They see their own country going down. It don't supposed to be like yeah. that. Cause yeah. think about it. Y'all do y'all ever, can y'all ever just think about how these people have $15 million homes? What do you need with a $15 million home? It's some that got 25, 20, yeah. 20 million, especially in Los Angeles. Look at it, y'all. Yeah. They got a, these expensive homes. What are you doing with that big home? What do you need with all of that? It's just... That's not how God wanted this this world to be built. All all of those millions, you can build how many houses you can build with twenty million dollar homes mm -hmm. in Texas. And that was why Jesus Christ says, Sell all your properties and give it to the poor. Because it's so hard. But it's for God. Wow. You do it for God. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you mm -hmm. so much for watching. Stay prayed up. We love you guys. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.